We are here at the Singapore Regard for the French Grand Prix and we have just started qualifying and Tim Mercedes boys are setting their lap times here. Hamilton nearly been held up by the Alpine but unlike some drivers this season the Alpine's got out of the way. Coming out to the final corner comes Lewis Hamilton up to the line he crosses it and that puts him P2. And now George into the final corner, being pushed round by the Red Bull behind. He's now coming up to the line, and now he crosses it. And that's going to put him up into P3. Good lap by our two drivers. But as we come to the end of qualifying then, Schumacher, Vettel, Albon, Latifi and Lance Stroll are the first to fall. We then come on to the end of qualifying 2, Q2, and Lando, Magnussen, Joe, Sonoda, and Ricardo have fallen. So into Q3 now, right at the end, the business end of qualifying. The two Ferraris coming into the final two corners, and Leclerc is going even quicker as he comes up to line now. Purple centers by him though, as he crosses the line to improve, and Sainz can't beat him. Hamilton is down in the first sector, but he's up in the middle sector. Is he going to be up in the final sector to improve his lap time? He stays P3. Now what about Perez? What can Perez do? The two Red Bulls racing each other to the line. George in the background. He's only good enough for P6. It's bright and sunny as the drivers line up on the grid. Taking a look at Mercedes now. After an impressive qualifying performance, they're starting today just behind pole. We've got the other Mercedes here. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. The race start is mere seconds away. And here we go with the French Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. So then we're on the second row for British Lewis Hamilton. Can he get a good start? He's gonna get tuck in behind Leclerc, going into turn one. Is he going to dart out? No, he's not. We're all one by one through the first chicane. Heading down now into the, towards the first sector. Hamilton's going to look to the inside, too far back, as we go through the first tricky part of the lap. Perez ahead of sight in the background, George doesn't look to have gained any places he either. Uh, okay. And now, onto the back straight, we're going to tell Lewis to use that battery. He pulls to the outside, and now he's going to rock it past Charles Leclerc, is he? He's just a little bit too far back. The Mercedes are not very good in a straight line compared to that Ferrari. But coming out to the chicane, he's got a great exit there. He's side by side. Lewis Hamilton right around the outside of Charles Leclerc. And for the first time in this entire career mode, we're in the lead of a Grand Prix. Can Lewis Hamilton hang on? He's still winless this season. We're winless as a team as well. But Leclerc in that much more superior Ferrari round the outside retakes the lead. On to lap three. Telling Lewis to push again. Use that battery. Down the pit straight we go now. Hamilton to the outside. And he's repasses the Ferrari there around the outside. 
and further round the lap, lap four, back cut in, comes Leclerc, this is very much changing of the guard kind of battle, as Leclerc re-takes the lead of the Grand Prix, now they can lose, gets him back, heading up to where he did him round the outside, going earlier on in the Grand Prix, but unfortunately he could not, back on to the back straight now DRS through back through comes Hamilton to the inside now he has to hold it around the outside but he can't get the job done there but he has got the exit just like he did on the opening lap of the Grand Prix is he gonna do it again around the outside of that flat right under he's still there but he's out to back out this time and he's still P2 if we could have an overtake press, overtake press. and now here he comes again Lewis Hamilton for about the outside he sees the inside lane Leclerc hasn't and defended that very down. well he says the fastest lap of the race whilst he takes the lead of the race this time no can he stay there no he cannot as he is back through Leclerc to the inside and he is back through and into the lead these two flying away from the Red Bulls behind Perez behind being holding up oh, holding up Sainz and George annoyingly as well but here comes Hamilton back at Leclerc the side by side in the background as well between Sainz and Perez we don't care about that because Lewis Hamilton is back into the lead but it was only going to last so long yet again. Back through comes Leclerc on the inside. Lewis, we're telling him to defend, but he is so vulnerable going down into that chicane. I think I mentioned it last time out. We are, as he re overtakes Leclerc here, we are recording this on much older patch when the game first came out. So. The DRS is still very, very powerful in these videos as copy and paste. These are different laps. This is copy and paste, lap after lap after lap. Lewis gets him into turn one. Leclerc gets him back into that chicane. Further back though, Hamilton has re overtaken him as Science gets Perez, and this is kind of George's battle. He's just sat there, stuck behind the Red Bull and the Ferrari. But it's the other Ferrari yet again. Hamilton, interestingly, going offline and just allowing Leclerc to roar down the racing line and back into the lead of the Grand Prix. But we're back onto the pit straight. Here yeah, Hamilton goes again to the inside. This time it did take him a few laps to get a little bit closer. But he is through and up, back into P1 you know what they can keep doing this as long as Hamilton is in the lead at the end of lap 53 I do not care but Leclerc has got back through and now Lewis is gonna have to do it again this time he didn't get it done into turn one so he's gonna have to do it down into the chicane to the inside now he's too far back to do anything and he's gone off Hamilton's long term no what is he doing? He's never made mistakes like that. He doesn't make mistakes. And now he's left vulnerable to Carlos Sainz behind. Oh, it was looking so good. Lewis, he does. When has he ever made mistakes like that? You're going to have to tell him to push now because the DRS is so powerful. It's going to be so hard for him to get away. And just so. Sainz gets through but this is so frustrating because we know he has the pace to stick with Leclerc but he does really overtake Sainz you can see Leclerc now wiping the sweat off his forehead I guess there as he is back on his own as Sainz really overtakes Hamilton he retake, retakes the fastest lap of the race as well we're going to skip on a little bit Sainz on the inside, they're going side by side again. 
now up towards the flat right under this time and what is on the inside the neck and neck as they go into the corner who's giving up neither of them are they're both keeping keeping their foot in but in the end science has the back out of it but on to lap 19 through goes science once again and this is just letting Leclerc get further and further down the road when we know Hamilton has the pace but on to lap 21 now Leclerc is in to box and Ferrari for once have got a good strategy and put him out into a lovely little gap and now we know Hamilton has the pace so I think the best thing to do is to take him out of this DRS train and allow him to push and hopefully beat these out and get closer to Leclerc again so into the pits comes Lewis Hamilton it does mean he's going to have to take the tyres quite far but in the long term it could work out as now he is going to come out that's Leclerc now this is Hamilton coming out of the pits and he is actually we found him a nice gap but only just because you can see the pack behind him that was crucial that we got him out this is Max Verstappen though around the outside of George and gets the job done this is Max Verstappen who was qualified last after his penalty box, box, box. and on lap 30 he's now in the podium yes, positions box. he switched this game onto easy mode like that is not normal that's not human like at all that's unbelievable but onto the mediums go sites we're putting George onto the hards we managed to get his mediums as far as those hards but now here is a crucial bit where do all of they come out compared to Lewis Hamilton Leclerc is going to beat them out we don't really need to worry about that but where is Hamilton he's nowhere to be seen Sides goes through there he is now and our little strategic hope has not worked out because actually we've put him behind George when he was really a lot further up the road and now you can see Max Verstappen is in the lead of the French Grand Prix it's taken him 35 laps to go from 20th to 1st and he wins the French Grand Prix that is an unbelievable drive from Max Verstappen no one in the history of the sport has ever done that and how do you physically stop him if he can start last and still win a Grand Prix it's gonna be the two Ferraris who round out the podium Perez fourth George is fifth and Lewis Hamilton who was looking so promising in the early stage of the Grand Prix for possibly a win comes home from P6 but look at that plus 19 next to Max Verstappen's name and that is unbelievable he put he set the AI to 0% and he steamrolled quite literally the entire field in terms of the drivers the closer ahead Max Verstappen those very valuable points not as damaging and we finally got George ahead of Bottas in the driver standings it's long overdue but we've finally done it in terms of constructors Ferrari still miles clear ahead of Red Bull and a mere in no man's land similar to what we was last time out in Austria but I hope you've enjoyed that video what an unbelievable drive from Max Verstappen and we go to Hungary next for the final round before the summer break and we'll see what happens in Hungary